Hi, this is Karek working as a digital modeler in a world class leading automotive lighting company. And uh, this video is all about my workflow. I'm just sharing with you. Hope it will help you guys. Thank you. I just uh, load my preference because uh, every time if the software crashes, you lose your preferences. You have to reload them. I use F as a shortcut key for my full screen and shift W, shift S, shift A, shift D, shift S and X for back. So this is how I do have my shortcut keys for manipulating between views. So I have assigned some of my hotkeys, single hotkeys like a palette for one, two for shell, for three for control panel, for tap four and I just open my construction plane editor and if you want to select a construction plane just tap the arrow you could just pick the uh, construction plane if you want you could hide it and also immediately you could uh, set the construction plane as uh, you know you can set the construction plane so I just tap the construction plane now uh, you could see that uh, modify view cube has been switched to construction plane mode I just shift again between to regular mode I, I do work with hardware shade mode I could switch between my mesh and wireframe immediately all right up next is to play with the materials so I use M the shortcut for bringing the material editor window here so there are three different uh, colors uh, so I, I just want uh, this you know this color the surfaces to be picked all together so I open the multi uh, go for shading pick objects now I am going to isolate this alone so I just use control shift A to isolate you see now I could I can make uh, whatever changes I want I just isolate whatever surface I want I use control shift A so to make everything visible I go for A alright now assigning materials so when it comes to multi lister shading all you need is uh, only one default shader that is enough you can go to edit and take a copy okay uh, and just go and adjust it you can assign different colors you can adjust the transparency the material have not yet been assigned to any surface I'll just select this assign now the material has been assigned I could play with the color I could play with the transparency whatever I want Now I'll start working with the deviation map. I'll open my deviation map. I'll go for uh, one and I have a ramp distance. This is my maximum uh, amount of uh, deviation, and this is the acceptable deviation. Okay. Now I just select. See, I could switch between uh, wireframe. I just select the entire surface, space bar, and now I just select the entire mesh. And you you could also see uh, it has been switched to diagnostic shading mode because this is not the material what I have assigned to my surface before working with deviation map go to diagnostic mode and switch to wireframe it has been turned off again I go for a deviation map select the surface select the mesh you could see uh, the rest of the things are in uh, you know in wireframe mode all right now I want to I won't adjust this transparency still my diagnostic shading is alive uh, I just increase the transparency and next is manipulating your uh, CVs right I just uh, go for deviation map and my acceptable distance is 0.1 sorry oops the point 0.1 yeah so there are deviations okay also now I want my mesh to be more transparent just open my control panel and display transparency yes now to manipulate your CVs in deviation map mode I'll just tell you how to do that just open my yeah. control shift C yes uh, yeah you could see uh, some sort of flickering here you know this happens uh, due to the performance uh, issue I mean the preference performance options 
during transform has been checked off so what happens is until and unless you release your mouse button uh, you could not see the actual result okay now i just release it i could see maybe now i'll just uh, if you are in uh, move cv or any other tool mode you could not uh, make it active just come out of it switch to object during transform turned on now again i ju just shift uh, switch to move cv you could see that okay CV, yeah wow now you could just work based on your uh, deviations while direct modeling trimmed surface in deviation map you may not get uh, the proper result okay so to do that just untrim it I just use U as a shortcut to untrim my surface right now I just keep manipulating also if it is a you know, symmetric surface and it's a trimmed surf again you may you may end up with uh, some sort of distortions in your deviation map so just untrim them okay now play with direct modeling hope you enjoyed my video thanks for joining with me